Welcome to another episode of Racing Badly, and this is going to be a nice road trip. Long Haul 2, a Rockstar Verified Race, and it's compounded by the fact that it's weapons enabled. And, of course, I get knocked out of the way. Already in 6th place, already at the bottom, as usual. Just outside of Fort San Cudu here in Blaine County, in San Andreas, and I'm getting my weapons ready. Getting my AP ready just in case. Pop, pop. Gonna blow some fools up. Gonna cap some of these mofos if I ever catch up with them. <laughs> like that's gonna happen, right? Hey, where'd he come from? What, did he just come out of warp or is this some, some sort of lag thing? <laughs> I don't know. That was kind of weird. Anyways, in third place, somehow I am in third place. Fourth place, third place. It probably won't last very long. And let's see, I'm going to try and get the, uh, yeah, that's right. I want to get uh, speed bolts. Because I know I'm not a very good shot with rockets. I just want to try and outrun it. But he, oh, you jackass. Someone blew me up. I've already been killed. I've been murdered. <laughs> and the race has just begun. Oh, man. This is not going to end so well, I don't think. <laughs> not at all. All right, finally got back. And my Dominator. That's right, we're in muscle cars today. And I find it interesting that we wouldn't be in sports cars or supercars, but I don't really control um, the uh, hosting aspect of these races. I just pull up quick jobs on my phone and go to uh, a race, whatever one happens to pop up. If I haven't done it before, I will do it in, uh, for the uh, experience and for your joy and entertainment. It's all part of the fun of racing badly. And in case this is the first time you've ever watched Racing Badly, here's the basic gist. And uh, right there. See how I just go crashing around? Obviously not being a very good driver. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, let's see how we did there. Did we get him? Oh, we got him! <laughs> we actually capped a fool. I don't know. I kind of feel bad about that. But, hey, it's GTA enabled, so anything goes. Finally got a kill under our belt. I didn't even think that was going to hit the guy. I mean, he was basically almost on the other side of the bridge when I shot at him, but anyways. Oh, gonna take to the air. Oh, crap. Oh, oh my head, that hurts. So basically, uh, back to what we were talking about a moment ago, the 411 of Racing Badly is, I'm not a good driver. I'm a very bad driver. I suck. And no, I'm not acting. No, I'm not pretending. No, this isn't a game. Well, it is a video game, obviously. But the point is, I'm showing you how bad I really am. And I always ask for advice on Racing Badly, which airs new episodes Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays on my channel. And one thing I always want from you, the fans, is to give me pointers. Give me advice how I can be better. Hell, I just noticed something. This just went from bad to worse. Because not only is this going to be a long-ass race, probably the longest one I've done to date, not only are weapons enabled, but so are the freaking cops. Oh, I died again, you bastard. He was waiting there for me. He set a trap. You know, it's bad enough I'm at the bottom of this race. You know, people just got to kill me. I know, I know. A few moments ago, I killed somebody else. It's very hypocritical of me. But now there's cops involved? <laughs> Man, what the hell? This is just going to make it even more fun, isn't it? So right now I've got to deal with the Sheriff's Department. And hopefully they won't mess with me again since I got murdered. But I wonder if they're going to go deal with that guy. He killed me, but hey. Who cares about me, right? <laughs> who cares about the fact that I was killed and my Dominator got blown up? So I really don't know how I feel about this. Plus, traffic is still on, so we're having to dodge around traffic. We're having to worry about other players killing us. And, ah, that hurts. And, to compound things, to make it even more fun, <laughs> we have to worry about the lol dog, the fuzz, one time, the 5-0, whatever you want to call them, getting on our case. <sighs> I'm definitely not going to win this race. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and we got a long ways to go. We're still up in Blaine County. And I, I think that in a mileage in the game, this track is 16 miles. 
I mean, that is a long haul. No shit. <laughs> That's why it's called long haul, too. Oh, jeez. Anyways, I got the inspiration from starting long haul. I mean, racing badly. Ah, I hit another car. I'm just especially sucking today. There's just so many factors working against me. But the reason why I started doing racing badly about a month ago when I launched my gaming channel is because I just needed a place to put it out there, I guess. It's, it's a great way to build up content on my channel. And before this, I would race and I would actually get mad. I would literally get ticked off at not doing well in a race. I would get furious. And then one day I just sat back and I'm like, you know what? This is just a game. It's not real. It's not life or death. So what you lose? So what you're not very good at racing? I'm pretty decent at survival. I'm okay at death matches and missions. You know, yeah, so what? I suck at racing. Big freaking deal. And so many people out there always post stuff on their channels. Like, oh, I'm so good at this. Oh, I'm so awesome at that. But you know what? I decided to go against the, the norm on that one. I wanted this to be fun and enjoyable. And sometimes I get frustrated. Sometimes, yeah, I do get cranky and when I do something like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you're driving down the road at full speed, you're missing cars, you're, you're doing great, and then all of a sudden you hit a freaking barrier and you spin out of control. Yeah, it blows. But you know what? That's life. It's just like every day that we get up. We have ups and downs. We have good days and we have bad days. Same thing goes for racing. Most of the time I don't do so well, but every now and then I actually place pretty decently. Sometimes I get third place. Sometimes I get second place, especially when there's two people racing. <laughs> but I've actually gotten first place a couple times. And one of those was actually in a vehicle, my coupe. That's right. My uh, Ubermach, uh, let's see, Zion Cabrero. I actually got first place racing that baby. I'm quite proud of that episode of Racing Badly. And, you know, a few times when I've parachuted. Two out of three, I've gotten first place. And parachuting, so I'm not bad at parachuting. I'm decent in helicopters and planes, but so far that, that hasn't been shown in racing badly. Even though before racing badly, I actually won almost every single helicopter race I've been in. So far, every single time I'm in a helicopter, I suck ass like I am right here. I'm stuck. Can you believe this crap? Ah, damn it! I can't even move. That's right, I'm respawning. <laughs> I had no choice, or else I was just gonna sit there. I don't like respawning, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. <laughs> but I'm actually not bad in a helicopter or a plane. I'm really not. And I think one of these days I'm actually going to win a racing badly in the next helicopter or plane or jet race, I hope. <laughs> oh, you can always hope. You can always dr dare to dream, right? And I realize I'm at the bottom of the pack here. I realize I'm in sixth place. And I don't really have a chance of hell. Hey, I might even I might get fifth place here. It's possible. I realize I'm not gonna get first place. I realize I'm probably not gonna get second or third, but my goal here is to try and at least finish the damn race. The last thing I want here is a DNF. And yes, I got two stars again. Once again, the lol dog is on my ass. <laughs> you know, it's insult to injury. It's putting salt on a wound here. So not only am I having to try and contend with the average uh, maniac psychopath racer that I deal with, and you know, apologies to all of you out there that I've raced against. It wasn't meant to be taken personally. <laughs> not only do I have to deal with NPC cars, I also have to deal with cops, uh, the sheriff's department. And now getting into uh, Los Santos, I'm going to have to deal with the police department. And if you guys follow my tank series, you know, Tank Misadventures Monday, they don't like me too much. Anytime I'm in a tank on Tank Misadventures Monday, it always goes wrong. <laughs> so, got two stars, and the cops are hot on my ass. <laughs> Look at this asshole. Look at him. Why can't he leave me alone? Why do they do this to me? <laughs> Bunch of jerks. I tell you. Oh, man. So, you know, originally... In my garage, 
I had several muscle cars, but the Dominator was the very first car that was officially mine. You know, at the very beginning of the, of the game of GTA Online, and you go get a car, and uh, Simeon will be very generous, and he'll let you max it out, and he'll pay for it. This was my very first car, the Dominator, and so I've kept it. But originally, I actually had several muscle cars in my garage. I had the uh, Gauntlet. I had the Saber, I had the uh, Buccaneer, and I had one or two more. But eventually I um, had to replace those muscle cars because I needed to get other cars. I needed to get sports cars. I needed to get a Super. I needed to get uh, a bike. And uh, there's a couple of, uh, like the uh, Roosevelt and the uh, Jester. So eventually I sold all my other muscle cars. And currently the only muscle car that I do have is my Dominator. I wasn't going to get rid of my Dominator because, like I said, it's kind of sentimental to me. My first ride, my first whip, my first car in GTA Online. When when I lived in like a crappy little apartment. No, it wasn't even an apartment. I, I only I had a little tiny piece of shit garage. The cheapest thing you can buy in this game, you know, that houses two vehicles. That's what I had. And yet, I went from nothing, from rags to riches, off the. Uh, the plane to building up a nice little criminal empire worth you know several million dollars of fictional money and a nice high-end apartment and soon I'll have two apartments and two garages where I can get 20 cars so I, I don't know should I get some more muscle cars as well should I uh, purchase at least another uh, gauntlet are, I mean, a lot of people make that debate. Gauntlet versus a Dominator. Which is your favorite? You list it below in the comment section. Which is your favorite muscle car? Or do you prefer the Sabre? Or another muscle car entirely? Personally, I think I like the Dominator the best. I don't know why. I guess because it resembles a Mustang. And I've always loved Ford Mustangs. In fact, I had the uh, 2005 GT when it came out. And you know what? I keep kicking myself for ever trading that in. Honestly, I wish I still had that Mustang because it's, it would be nearly 10 years old now. I know it's not the same as a 1964 or a Boss or a Cobra, but still, it was a cool-looking car. I loved that retro look. It was just so awesome. Ah, cops, look at... What, what was that for? I didn't even have stars right there. What a jerk. Oppressing my rights to speed down the highway. And not obey traffic laws. How dare you, law dog? How dare you oppressing me? And two people dropped out of the race. I just noticed that. I'm in fourth place. There were two other people that quit. So what is worse? Getting last place? Getting a DNF? Or rage quitting? You be the judge. And look at this. These jerks. I am so tempted to start shooting some cops here. Not for real. Not for real, just fictional cops. Don't come after me, DHS, NSA, if you're listening. I'm talking about in the game. The Los Santos police state thugs. These stormtrooping goose steppers who won't let me even try and finish a race in fourth place. Kicking me while I'm down. Now the sheriff's department's after me again. Oh, man, this is just getting frustrated here. <laughs> oh, I don't even know if I'm going to win. Oh, damn it. The countdown has begun. I don't even think I'm anywhere near the finish line. <laughs> oh, man, this sucks. I went through all this, all this trial and tribulation and turmoil on this long road trip. And I know you got to use the bathroom, but don't worry. It's almost over and not the way I wanted it to be. Oh, you, Urgh, that's it. The gloves are coming off. If I'm going down, you guys are going with me. Take this, you bastard. Pop, 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 pop. Bam. Gotcha. Ha. Ah, bittersweet. DNF, yes, yes, I know. Oh, well, some journeys just end that way. <laughs> oh, it could have ended so much better. Congratulations, of course, to No Pain Gain. He's the big winner in this long haul to Rockstar Verified Race. And hopefully, I'll never have to endure that again. And if you enjoyed the race, feel free and hit the like button. 
and uh, go check out all my races. I do it uh, three days a week, racing badly, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays. And I got plenty more content for you to check out, which I post daily on this channel. Feel free to subscribe and help me uh, grow my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.